I'm a huge fan of a great massage. Deep tissue, Reiki, hot stone, shiatsu, and a good sports massage really hits the spot. And although these styles loosen up the muscles and provide fantastic relaxation, I'm keen to try a different type of hands-on body work. One that's built on balancing the physical, mental, spiritual and emotional elements to restore energy in the body. And it's done fully clothed. So if you would lean to the left and across to the right, as I just evaluate your sacroiliac joint. Thank you. And have a lay on your back. Andy, what is zero balancing? It's this really lovely session of bodywork, hands-on treatment, helping balance both the energy and the structure of the skeleton. So to understand that, you could think of your body as a sailing boat and your energy or vitality as the wind. And we want the wind to fill our sails so we cruise away through life and navigate obstacles and difficulties. But often we're out of sorts, we're floundering, we might be hurting. And we could say that the boat and the wind have lost their relationship. And so zero balancing is trimming your sails. Dr. Fritz Smith in America in the 1970s was combining his experience of osteopathy and acupuncture. And he developed this lovely modality from that combination of working with the physical structure of a skeleton, but also appreciating its energy and discovered a way to treat both simultaneously. And he had no name for it, so people went to get fritzed, which is his first name. And after some years, someone in, the, in his practice got off the table, stood up and said, oh, I feel balanced back to zero, meaning in equilibrium. And uh, he said, that's it, I found the name. Can you feel tension in bones, much like you'd be able to feel a knot in a muscle? Absolutely. For example, I'll, and I make contact with your ribs, with the bones in my fingers, and I can tell by evaluating this ninth rib that the right-hand side has a little more tension, a little less flexibility. You can think of it like all the injuries, the history, even your poor posture, your, you know, stuff we carry, basically, tension. Some of it's deeper than the soft tissue. It's right in the skeleton and bones can carry memories and feelings and stuck energies for years sometimes, which we may not realise. We only tend to appreciate our bones if they're hurting, and that's quite severe. They've had a fracture or a break usually. The rest of the time, we just take them for granted. But if they are supported to relax and unblock, then everything else feels better with it. Apart from that density in the bone, is there anything else you can feel or experience? Yeah, absolutely. I'm evaluating the range of motion here, of the cervical spine, to see if your neck is free, and it is now in every way. To feel embodied, to be connected to oneself, is to really notice everything about how you feel, as well as think, and all your sensation. And so part of a treatment for me is getting connected, or helping the client feel very connected. So their mind, their body, their emotions are not separate. They're all you. They're all one person. And if we can feel like we're one complete integrated person, then we're just happier. We're more, we're more healthy. So, Luke, if you would have a lovely big breath and a sigh. No expectations is exactly what you need going into zero balancing. I'd build a story in my head that it would be similar to a massage, but with some verbal cues for some emotional clearing or healing. And it couldn't be further from the truth. Although it's quite a light therapy, it really hits pressure points on your bones that feel really firm and, and, and quite a release. Now, not just a physical release from the body, but without Andy saying anything, an emotional clarity coming with it too. So. After the session, I feel taller, I feel lighter, I feel like I'm leading with my chest with really good confidence, but I also feel really happy. And for no particular reason, I feel like I could take on anything in my day.